Hi guys, welcome to Motivational Monday. Today we're talking about how to protect your peace. Um, I live a pretty peaceful life. Despite the chaos of the world, despite having a pretty hectic lifestyle, despite all of the things that are on my plate, internally I live a very peaceful life. And I thought it was important to talk about how to get to that place because for me, it was not always like that. And it is not something that just happens naturally. Living a peaceful life, I have to be intentional and I have to be strategic about living a peaceful life. So I wanted to talk about how to get that in your life um, so that we can all live a peaceful life. Because I think the more you have internal peace, the more you're at peace with those around you. So... The very first step towards protecting your peace is minding your business. Yeah. Yeah. And I know you might sound like that might sound like, well, I mind my business, but really think about the things that bother you. Really think about how often we get frustrated over things that have no direct impact on you. Now, I'm not saying be blind to certain um, ignorance or foul treatment or anything like that. But what I'm saying is before you pick up somebody else's cross, recognize you have your own cross to bear. And so before I allow myself to get frustrated or overwhelmed or pissed off, I really have to sit and think, like, how does this impact me? And I can care about an issue without being emotionally invested in said issue. So just because I don't, I, it, just because it doesn't directly impact me, that just means I don't need to make the emotional investment in that issue. I can still care about it. I can still fight for it. But I'm not emotionally engaged in the issues that, are, that have nothing to do with me. So the next time you feel yourself getting pissed off, ask yourself, how does this impact me? And you may find it doesn't. And guys, I'm just speaking from experience. Like, I, the, I'm not just saying things from a place of like, I know it all. I'm sharing what I've learned and keeping it real as best as I can. Um, the next thing is really to ask yourself, is this something I have control over? So yes, this thing may impact you, but can you control it in any way? Can you change it? Do you have the ability to fix it? If the answer is no, it's not worth losing your peace over it. And I'm saying this as someone who had to ask this question when I was dealing with the grief of miscarrying twins. Once it happened, there was nothing I could do to change that. So I had to find out what does peace look like for me now? How can that be different? Because I had to let go of that hurt because I couldn't change it. I couldn't control the scenario. I couldn't do anything to come up with a different outcome. So we realize it impacts you. We realize you have control over it. This next step, game changer. I promise you, game changer. It's the five by five rule. If it's not gonna matter in five years, don't spend more than five minutes upset about it. I want that to resonate, and I'll repeat it again. If it's not going to matter in five years, do not spend more than five minutes upset about it. Really and truly. Like, when you're thinking about your coworker that pissed you off, will you know them in five years? Like, think about the coworkers you had five years ago. How many of them do you know now? When you think about the boss that pissed you off, is that still your boss? Five years ago. Like, the boss you had five years ago, is that still your boss? And it really helps you regulate 
is this energy worth it? Because I think if you begin to ask yourself this question, will this moment matter in five years? Will this bump in the road? I know it matters right now, but will it matter in five years? And if you can't honestly say yes, don't even give that energy because it's just not worth it. So we've done all that, right? But I do recognize that there are some deep-rooted issues or reoccurring issues that we face on a daily basis. My solution to that, seek help. If you're struggling with your money management, get a financial advisor. If you're struggling with your physical appearance, get a personal trainer. If you're struggling mentally or emotionally, get a therapist. If you're struggling with your spiritual development, get a spiritual mentor. There are resources available to help you solve whatever problem it is that is reoccurring in your life. And here's the reality of the situation. You have to invest in yourself. So if this issue or whatever the problem is, is that important to you? Invest in the resources necessary so that you can improve with guided help. Because here's the reality, and I have to have this conversation with myself as well. Like, I have to be honest with myself and say, you haven't fixed it in 26 years. What are you going to do different? Because what's the definition of insanity? Doing the same things over and over again, expecting a different result. If you want something different, you have to do something different. And sometimes you don't even know what that different is. And that's what the help is for. Last step towards protecting your peace. You have to look for reasons to be happy. Seriously. So often in our culture, people look for reasons to be upset disappointed, frustrated, angry, challenge yourself. Find as many reasons as you possibly can to be happy with something. Seriously, it's a game changer. Find a reason to be happy. And so I want to hear you guys today. I want you to count how many things you have in your day that you can be happy for. You get to work on time. Are you, do, are you have more energy than normal? Um, did someone buy your lunch? Did someone yield and give you the right of way for traffic? Anything. Did you have a great parking spot today? Whatever it takes, find a reason to be happy. Please. On behalf of you, please. And as a bonus... I'm going to leave you with this last little tidbit. Bonus for protecting your peace, plan ahead. A lot of people lose their peace because they're stressed out and that stress can be minimized or eliminated had they planned ahead. You have to get organized. Like you have to. If you want to live a peaceful life, you have to get organized. And it really is just that simple. So, I want to hear from you guys, of course. (laughs) I want to hear your strategies for living a peaceful life. In the comments, I want you to write in the comments, what are some things that you do intentionally to live a peaceful life? All right, guys.